So I got a question for you. Do you like to stay organized or do you at least like to use applications that are meant to help you stay organized? Because I do. I'm not organized at all, but I like uh, the feeling of me trying to be organized at least. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Task Warrior, a uh, to-do manager that you use right there in the command line. It's super effective, it's super simple as well, but uh, very effective at the same time. We're gonna go over it a little bit. There's a ton that you can do with this, so we're not gonna go through every single little thing, uh, but we will check out the website just to see everything that you can do with it, and then I'm gonna show you how I use it in a very simple way, but nonetheless, it is, it's a very cool little uh, to-do list. I really think that it's a very, a very helpful little tool, so. Let's jump over to the computer and check it out. But of course, before we do that, consider hitting that like button since it really helps out the channel way more than you know. All right, so first things first, let's check out the website. We're gonna go through that a little bit and just look at you know the documentation, uh, how you can install it and whatnot. Uh, first of all, if you are on an Arch-based distribution, it is right there in the uh, repos. I think it's in the extra repo. So you can just do sudo pacman-s uh, task and then you can install it so everything else I think you can grab the binary or um, maybe there's a dev package yeah so of course you can grab the tarball or you can uh, it's on it's in the repos for Debian Ubuntu uh, Fedora OpenSUSE Arch Slackware Gentoo and yeah so a bunch of different ones or you can just clone the git repository you know, either one of those will work, but no matter how you get it, once you get it installed, you can either use the man page or you can use the docs on the website as well. I think either are helpful. The documentation, I think, goes a little bit deeper on the website, but I've already got it set up, and so I'm just going to run through really quick and just show you what happens when you run it for the first time. Pretty much all it does is once you run task, it'll create a uh, .taskrc directory, and uh, it'll create everything that it needs for you to actually use it right there in the command line. If we jump over here to the documentation, getting started, first of all, what is Task Warrior? Task Warrior manages your to-do list from your command line. It is flexible, fast, efficient, unobtrusive, does its job, then gets out of your way. And that's kind of the great thing about, um, you know, command line uh, applications anyway. They're just, they're not, they're developed to do a job and then get out of your way. That's kind of all of them, you know. Once you've got it installed and then once you run it for the first time and get that configuration file set up, the most basic way to use it would be is if you were just to say task, add, say I wanted to get milk, right? That created a task. Add a couple more, get bread, task, add, get, eggs now those kind of seem more like um you know something that like getting milk egg and bread right that's groceries that's something that you're doing for your household correct now let's add a couple of different ones say maybe i had uh some some tasks that i needed to get done for work right say maybe i was working from home and uh, i needed to add the task to call jeff at 2 p.m right Maybe, maybe me and Jeff got a, got a little meeting that we need to take care of. Or maybe I got to fire Jeff, you know, because I'm, I'm running a business and I'm a, I'm a fucking CEO. So call Jeff at 2. Let's see another one. Task add, um, I don't know, finish documents for HR. Since I'm a CEO, I'm, you know, I have to create or I got to put in some some documents for HR because I got in trouble with human resources. So there's a couple of things for like something that I need to do after work for home. There's a couple of things I need to do for work in general. And then, uh, you know, let's add since the CEO makes uh, YouTube videos, let's add a couple for that. Right. So task add finish uh, editing video and then maybe we'll do another one task add finish thumbnail we'll just say finish thumbnail 
So I've got a few of them for home. I've got a couple of them for work. And then I've also got some for my, you know, little side projects, my little YouTube channel. Now, if we clear that out, we can actually do task list. Now that's going to list every single task that we have, that we've added to Task Warrior, right? And then if you needed to, say if you got off of work, and you actually did get those that milk, bread, and eggs. If you wanted to remove those from Task Warrior, you would just do task delete and say I wanted to do one and then hit yes. And now task one is deleted. But you can also do that, uh, do multiple numbers at a time. So if you did task delete uh, one and two maybe I got all of that stuff from the grocery store hit yes and you can actually uh, type in all and that'll just delete both of those instead of going through each one of them I'm gonna go ahead and clear out all of those tasks okay and then I'm gonna show you kind of how to add tags to the tasks so say I needed to get that milk egg and bread right at least now, once we add tags, we can basically add different categories to each task that you put in. So if we go task, add, plus home, get bread. And then we could do task, add, plus home, get milk. Task, add, plus home, get eggs. Now, if we go task list, we can see now it's added a little bit of urgency as well since it has a tag the default is 0.8 which isn't very urgent but you can also see right here it's added the tag home to each of those right now say that we needed say we still needed to call Jeff at 2 and we still needed to put that paperwork in for HR since we're a weird CEO task add plus work call Jeff now again we can do task add plus work uh, submit HR documents if I can literally type today now we do task list and you can see the first three they actually have a home tag the second two or the last two actually have a work tag now this is pretty much as far as I would probably use this application just because that's about all that I really need is something that I can quickly see what task I need to get done. Um, really, I don't even need the tags, but they are still beneficial. At least then you can just do task list. You can see all of your tasks and you know what you need to get done for that day or maybe that week. All right, so we've got all of the tasks right there in line. Now say, say I was at work, right? And I didn't care about any other tasks that I need to get done later in the day or later that week. Maybe I was only specifically focused on tasks that I needed to do for work. You can create, it's called contexts. They're kind of like tags, but not really. Uh, they're different categories that you can create. So say, say, like I said, you're at work. What you would do is do task context so it would be task, context, define work, and then in parentheses, project, semicolon, work. Now, once you do this and hit enter, it's going to ask you if you want to change the value of the context. Just say yes. You're going to have to say yes again. And now, after that, you just do task, context, work. And that's going to add the work context. So basically, from now on, yeah, you have all of those tags uh, already in the task list, right? But if you do task list, it's not going to show any of those because this is specifically for work. Now, yes, I did create work tags, but since I created those outside of that context, it's not going to show those couple of uh, tasks that I already created for work because tags and context are a little bit different. Now from here, I don't even have to label them or anything. If I just do task, add, um, call Jamie at 3 p.m., maybe I need to make another phone call, right? And I add that. Now that's going to add 
just to the project work. The project and context are kind of the same thing, but like I just said, it's they're basically they're different categories that you can create. And so now if I do task add um, meeting at one, now you can see if I do task list, it's only going to show the two uh, tasks that are in the context of work. Like I said, it's not going to show those other two that I created with the tags of work because tags and context are different. Um, but this is very helpful if, like you said, or like I said, if you are at work or something and you don't, you don't need to worry about those other tasks um, until later in the day, you can just create a context for work activate it and then it's only going to show you your work list right and then just to get rid of that or to exit that context you just do con or task context none and then that's going to basically unset the work context it is still there so if you go back and do task context work it will come back but now if you do task list it's going to show everything and I think that's just kind of cool because, like I said, maybe you don't need every single task, you know, in your task list to be shown at once, especially if you're only specifically doing one thing. So like I said, that's as deep as I'm going to go into it because that's really, that's, that's as deep as I would use it personally. If you do want to check out how far you can go with this and how con how configurable that it actually is, I will leave the uh, link to the website down below, of course. But I do want to show you uh, a couple different things. They are a couple TUI applications uh, for Task and Task Warrior. So if we jump back over here to the computer and we go and we type in VIT, VIT is a TUI application for Task Warrior. So pretty much everything that you can do with Task in the command line, you can do the same thing right here. Um, I don't mind TUI applications. They're, they're kind of like the cross between GUI applications, or they're in the middle of GUI applications and CLI tools, right? It gives you the list just as if you were to do it right in your command line, but you're able to look at it you can go and you can look at the status of it, uh, what time it was entered. You can do everything. Everything that you can do in here, you can do with task right in the command line. And while I don't mind TUI applications, for something like this, I don't think I would ever use it. I would just use task right in the command line personally. Um, I just don't see much benefits to the TUI application, but I still wanted to show it to you just in case maybe you would want to use it yourself. It does have uh, Vim-like key bindings. If you go down here, you type semicolon and help, it will bring up a bunch of different uh, key bindings every and everything that it has. And so if you want to check that out, absolutely go ahead. There is also something called Task Warrior TUI which is literally the same thing. Um, they're just two different TUI applications that you can use. Um, they're, yeah, like I said, they're the same thing. I wouldn't technic or I wouldn't necessarily use them. Task Warrior does actually have a man page. Uh, Vit does not have a man page, but Task Warrior does. But again, uh, with vit, all you have to do is uh, type in help, the help command within vit, and you know you can see all the key bindings and everything. So you don't really need a man page for that. But anyways, that is the video. Let me know down in the comments if uh, you would use something like this, if you like command line tools, or are you a fan of GUI tools, you know? I'm all for any of them. Whatever tool gets the job done. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it very much. Consider hitting that like button because it really helps out the channel way more than you know. Also, consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way.